In this video, I'm going to explain how to insert citations and reference lists into your paper using um, Microsoft Word's automatic function. Now, you can do all this stuff manually, but um, it's kind of hard and uh, requires you to be very careful. Okay, here's a paper, uh, Inhibitory Effects of Various Anti-Browning Agents on Apple Slices. Okay, and just to show you some examples of citations, uh, so right here, this is a citation, and it includes the family name and the year of the author, okay? Over here, you can see another one. If there are more than one author, then they're listed like this, okay? Uh, but only the family names, not the first names or anything else. And basically, the way this is used is, uh, for example, this point here would cover the information in this sentence. So this sentence comes from this source. Okay, so when we have a sentence and then we have a citation that tells us where this paper comes from, if we want to know more details about that, we go to the, to the end of the paper and we can, uh, here it is, and you'll see it says references. And here's that reference. Okay, we look it up by the family name they're in uh, alphabetical order, at least in this style. This is called APA style. I can see here, here's the name of the paper, New Approaches in Improving the Shelf Life of Minimally Processed Fruit and Vegetables. Here's the name of the journal, Trends in Food Science and Technology, the page numbers, and everything. So this is all the information I need to go to the internet and find out. Um, if I keep going down, what was the other one? Kim, Smith, Lee. This is the other paper that was cited there, and then here's the journal, okay? Now, I mentioned APA style. Um, if you're using APA style, then the reference list will look like this, and it will be in alphabetical order with the family names first and only the initials, first initials of the author. Um, every style has its own rules, okay? And in the, that's the reference list, in the citation in APA style, we use the family name or multiple family names here. Okay, uh, where was this one? Yeah, Kim, Smith, and Lee. Okay, and then the year and put it in parentheses like that. And every style is different. I'll show you a different style in a minute here. Um, depending on the way you write the sentence, in this case, we wrote the sentence like this, or they wrote the sentence like this processing operations such as peeling, cutting, and shredding, and so on. And then this is where that information came from. If you use the names of the authors like this, uh, Nicolas, Richard, Forger, whatever, and so on, then, and then use like a verb like reported that and explain what they found, then you only need to put the year in parentheses because we already mentioned the family names of the authors. Okay. Let me show you a different paper. Um, this is a paper, uh, Breakfast Consumption and Cognitive Function in Adolescent School Children. And if, if you look at this paper, this paper does not use APA style. It uses a different style. I think it's called uh, IEEE or something like that. And in this case, you have this one, and then two, and then three, four. Here's two again, okay? It's still the same that if I go to the end of the paper, I'll find the reference list, but this time they're not in alphabetical order, they're in the order that they appear in the paper, okay? So uh, this is just a different style, and uh, there are many, many, many different styles for citations and reference lists, and it depends on the journal or your teacher or whatever, which one you use. Now, I'm going to show you how to use APA style because uh, that's the style that, that I use. Okay, so here I have a, uh, uh, a paper. So this first sentence here, uh, oxalic acid can slow the browning process of apple slices. That one comes from uh, this apple paper. That's where I got the information. Okay, so um, we're going to put in a citation for that. Okay, the end of the sentence before the period is where I'm going to insert it. I'm going to come up to this tab, okay, which is the, uh, I think it's the References tab in English, and then here's, I'm going to make sure I select my style, okay. You can see that there's a whole bunch of styles here. Here's that IEEE one, 
we want APA and uh, then I'm gonna click this and make a new citation now I want to make sure that it's selected for a journal article in this case because this is a journal article and I want to set it to English so that it'll all get formatted correctly and I want to get more fields here okay and now I start putting my information in okay SM Sun Katie Moon okay so I just do it like this S M Sun and then put a semicolon not a, not a comma a semicolon between the names K D space uh, moon I think was the next one and then C Y whoops Lee okay and then when I'm done with that I need to put the title in next I'm gonna put the name of the journal which is up here food chemistry okay next I'm gonna put the year which uh, is 2001 next I'll put the page numbers 23 to 30 and then next I want to put the uh, the volume and the issue okay now here I found the volume 73 I don't see an issue number so I'll just put that one 73 and then I'm gonna click OK and you'll see boom it got inserted in there with the commas and everything okay next I have another one uh, I started this one with the names of the authors Cooper Bandolo and Neville found that breakfast consumption and so on so I'm gonna do the same thing here come right after the name I'm gonna go here and click to get a new one let's make sure we uh, select English it's a journal article click this to get more information and now let's find that article here it is okay SB Cooper S Bandolo Emmy Neville okay okay and make sure that you put uh, you know M period E period space Neville and then after between the names not after but between the names put a semicolon okay let's get the title breakfast consumption and okay let's get the name of the journal physiology and behavior let's get the year 2011 okay the page number was and then the volume number is 103 and click good and there it is now you notice I have the name repeated so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this right click on it and come down here to edit this entry and I'm going to come up here now I can put a page number in if I if I'm doing a quote for example but in this case I just want to show the author don't want to oh I don't want to show the author and I don't want to show the title um, you got to click that too okay and when you do that there it's exactly like we want it okay and then finally I put one more uh, down here um, I'm actually going to change this I'm going to write Sun oops, moon and Lee now there's three authors and I already mentioned one of them uh, I already mentioned this paper once so now I can just do et all okay and I'll come right after this period and I already use this paper so if I click up here you see it's already listed so click that come down here let's edit that we don't want the authors don't want the titles click good good there's a little line here because I have a period after at all but you're supposed to have a period after at all because it's an abbreviation okay so that's how you get the citations put in your paper and then when you're done with your paper and you want to make the reference list uh, I usually just make a title and write references and then I come up here and I don't choose one of these formats because uh, um, it comes with the title already I like to put the title references otherwise you're gonna have to change it I just click this one and look at that it's all done I got a small complaint uh, this is Calibri and down here is not Calibri so uh, I'll just select that and change the font to Calibri so it matches there okay and there I go I got my reference list too 
Now, one thing that's uh, really cool about this is that once you have your uh, uh, citations and your reference list done, I can easily change the style. Like if I want to switch it to this uh, IEEE style, I just click this and now you'll see it's all been done. It's all been, these have been reformatted into uh, that style and the ones and twos have been stuck in here. Okay, I want to go back to APA. I just click that. And there I go, I'm back in APA style. Now if you're writing just one short paper, uh, this automatic system in Word is pretty good. You know, it gets you exactly what you want. Um, it's much better than doing it by hand, uh, typing all this in manually, because it's really easy to make mistakes with this. Um, however, just to let you know for, your, for the future, there are other things that you can use uh, to do reference lists. And if you're writing a longer paper or if you're um, uh, writing many papers about the same research topic, then you should use a proper reference software. And um, the most popular ones are um, that I've heard of are EndNote, uh, Mendeley, and Zotero. EndNote is very, very expensive and Mendeley and Zotero are free. I use Zotero this is what Zotero looks like, and you can see here I have a lot of references stored in here. Okay, What I like about it is um, I can go to an internet page and I can just click and automatically add all of this in, so I don't have to type that stuff. Um, also, the PDFs are stored right in here, so if I just click on one of these, then um, it opens up in a PDF document. Okay, and then once you have your citations entered into Zotero, then, so this one was Davies, 1989, okay. Um, I can automatically reference those uh, in Word. I'm, I'm using, this is Word on Mac, but it'll be the same thing uh, in Windows. Add citation. Choose APA, and then I can just search for it like this, Davies. All right, there it is hit enter and I'm done. And when I want to make a reference list, I just do the same thing. Zotero uh, add bibliography. And there it is, it's done. So in the future, uh, I recommend you use one of these things. Uh, but if you just need to write one paper, then the, um, the word function like we talked about here is uh, very good and will help you to help prevent you from making a lot of mistakes 